Hello, Pam Neighbors here again today. This time we're going to talk about uh, grips. Those of you in permanent makeup, um, tattooing, scalp micropigmentation, everyone's coming from a different angle. Um, our work is very much the same, yet it's very different. And so I'm hearing this flavor throughout the forums of people, especially my permanent makeup girls, um, people that are starting new in the industry, there's a lot of hubba bubba about you know grip size and the weight of the machines so let's talk about those things a little bit because those are important again not only to the quality of work that you crank out but to our long-term hand health and, and our body mechanics so some of the things i wrote down here to talk about today is the health of your hands um, and the comfort of your hands so I find that when female clients or female students come in, they're intimidated, especially if they've trained with someone who teaches them on one of those fancy digital machines that are little tiny dainty pins. Um, they're very intimidated by a machine that's larger in grip or they're intimidated by the idea of wrapping that machine for a larger grip. I think what you need to do is analyze what kind of work you're doing. So when we're doing permanent cosmetics, think about it. If we're working in an eye socket or we're working around the face, um, you know, loud machines are intimidating to the clients as well, but you need to be able to get in tighter places and work. So it only makes sense that a smaller machine or a machine with a smaller grip at the front end is gonna be a little bit easier to work in those situations. But when you're doing scalp, you're working for long, long periods of time and you've got a fairly large open surface You'll notice you watch your body artists when they're working on a back or a thigh, they're working on, you know, they've got great big, huge grips. And the reason for those big grips is because your hand fatigue, you've got to be comfortable. So even though in your mind, it makes sense that a smaller, daintier machine is going to be easier on your hand. It's not because your, your dexterity, you know, you're squeezing that grip and you're holding it for long, long hours and that machine is running. So it's not like, a riding with pin where you can totally relax. Most of us are, are over gripping because we're a little bit stressed. We want everything to be perfect. You'll notice people using things wrapped the size of a tennis ball. And that's because this is much, much more comfortable for your hand. You'll experience a lot less fatigue. I can't use anything quite that big, but I can tell you that the grip on my Cheyenne is more than double the size of some of the pins that some of my friends are using for permanent cosmetics. And no, I don't like it for an eyeliner if it's a great big fat grip. I change the grip to the smaller nozzle. But if think of it this way, when that hand is, in a, is more open, you're gonna have a lot less fatigue for what you're doing. So if you're doing marathon tattooing, you're tattooing a scalp for three or four hours. Or if you're doing a huge you know, back piece or you're doing a huge thigh piece, that hand is under a tremendous amount of fatigue because we're running for hours and hours and hours and we're not taking a whole lot of breaks. So if you're doing this the whole time, your hand's gonna be shot and long-term, you're gonna develop some issues. Um, I tell people also, don't be afraid of the weight of a machine. Um, women in particular, again, they'll pick up my machine versus their Nouveau or whatever they happen to be using. And because my machine is so much heavier, the first thing they think is it's gonna be fatiguing. But you know, I learned a long time ago not to be afraid of the way, you know, we need to learn to let the machine do the work for us. And so I feel like people move their machine a lot more when they're working with a, a lightweight machine rather than keeping it at a constant and letting the machine do the work. So don't necessarily be afraid of weight. I mean, you know, you're talking a couple of ounces here. You're not talking pounds, you're talking ounces. Don't be afraid of a machine because it's heavier. Don't be afraid of a machine because it's larger. The main thing is that your hand is comfortable and that you that that it's easy for you to hold. You know, again, this is where we talk about um, L-shaped hand sets versus pen style. Everyone's a little bit different in what you like. I'm different from procedure to procedure. I love the L-shape for brows, but I don't like it for eyeliner. You know, can I, can I do it? Yes, but it's not my favorite. But the biggest thing is just making sure that you're comfortable and that you feel like the machine that you have is the right one for the job for you. Because what I like is different and what the next guy likes is different, but make sure that it's right for you. And don't be afraid to um, stretch out and try something that maybe has a larger grip or has a little bit more weight to it. If that machine is running smooth and it's dependable, 
you know, that might be the machine for you. And, and many people are afraid of them at first, but again, if you've not tattooed for a month and you pick up a machine and start working on the eyeliner, everything feels foreign to you. Practice every day, be familiar with your equipment. If you're used to wielding a machine that weighs three ounces over one that weighs two ounces, your body's gonna adapt. It's all in training like everything else. So don't be afraid of them, experiment. Good quality machines come in a variety of sizes and weights and don't be afraid of them because they're large. Don't be afraid of them because they're, they're heavier. Um, if they'll do the job for you, they're worth their weight in gold. No pun intended. All right, thanks for joining me. Leave your comments and um, leave anything that you want to talk about in those comments. I'd be love to, I'd always looking for ideas to talk about with you guys.